What's up, Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watts, and in this video, we're going to be going over a rumor coming from a rumor coming from ComicBookMovie.com. Now, ComicBookMovie.com is not a credible source, and they are known to get a lot of things wrong. But it is something that has been floating around with some of the popular Star Wars content creators. I'm not going to say who, but some of them are talking about this. But a possible Thor actor. Idris Elba, I think that's how you pronounce it, is to play, is rumored to play a villain in the 2025 Star Wars movie known as the Ray movie. Now, I honestly think it was going to be Dark Talon, but uh, they want to focus more on people of color and having more of people of color as the lead, but um, they, they'll probably have Idris Elba be one of the main, main villains, but... Could Dark Talon appear in in the Ray Star Wars movie? I think it's still possible, even though I haven't made a video on full speculation, which I plan to make a full speculation video about why I believe Dark Talon could make an appearance in this Ray Star Wars movie. And to and believe it or not, there are Sith that exist outside of Darth Bane's order. So um, that was the big news that I wanted to bring with you with the 2025 Star Wars movie. I heard some stuff about Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie, Heir to the Empire. And, uh, there, there's one credible source talking about maybe it's not called Heir to the Empire. But a lot of Star Wars fans are saying, well, I think it is. So, to be honest with you, we don't know what the, we don't know what the title is yet. And to tell you the truth, guys, we, we, we really don't know. I mean, it's uh, Heir to the Empire is a good guest, and uh, we saw that in Ahsoka about Thrawn as Heir to the Empire, so it could be Heir to the Empire, but we're not sure. I thought it was already confirmed, but apparently not, but if it's called Heir to the Empire, this could turn into a Star Wars movie trilogy. This could turn into a spin-off trilogy known as the new Thrawn trilogy, a new version of the Thrawn trilogy, the canon version. Like, not just in films, but probably a new written book series on the Thrawn trilogy as well. The canon version of the Thrawn trilogy, as Thrawn is heir to the Empire. And, um, we'll probably see things a little bit different. There's also rumored Myra Jade possibly returning. Uh, this, that's also coming from a credible source as well. It's coming from a credible source on Twitter, I believe. I can't remember the name of it, but, uh, Meyer Jade might be able to come, M Meyer Jade might be able to come in there, um, will, will Luke end up marrying Meyer Jade, um, probably not, uh, because, uh, George Lucas, I mean, in George Lucas's version of Star Wars, there is no such thing as Myra Jade, there is no such thing as Myra Jade. And if George Lucas did plan for Luke Skywalker to have a wife at some point, it wouldn't be a Myra Jade type character. Now, some people say that uh, Luke, in George Lucas's version of the story, uh, Luke Skywalker never gets married. But um, um, I kind of disagree on that a little bit. Maybe George Lucas had some thoughts of giving Luke Skywalker a wife at one point. Because I've seen some other interviews where um, the sequel trilogy ending with the sequel trilogy ending with Luke Skywalker being a father. And George Lucas has stated that George Lucas has stated that it, that his sequel trilogy would focus on the daughter and the grandchildren of Anakin Skywalker. If George Lucas did give Luke Skywalker a wife, like, it wouldn't be a Myra Jade type character from Star Wars Legends. And, um, we did get some rumor about the Dawn of the Jedi Star Wars movie, but that likely won't see the light of day until the late 2020s, maybe the early 2030s. But that's a long ways away, and we got plenty of time to speculate on that Star Wars movie. But that's all I have for this video. Um, do make sure to smash <coughs> sorry. Do make sure to smash a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all later in another video.